Hey there Seekers, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. Just calling in with a few small announcements before we head to your reading. The first one being I've now completed all of the 2021 overview readings so you can head to the playlist which I will put up here if I can figure out how to do it. <laughs> so you can go over there and find your reading to see how the year may shape up for you. Um, the next readings that I'm going to be working on is the January monthlies and of course I always um, launch and post the uh, weekly readings on Thursday 11 p.m. Australian time. Now I'm doing a giveaway this week guys. I am giving away this beautiful print from Danielle Knoll Art. It's art, of course, subjective. It's not going to be everyone's taste, but I personally have this one in my office where I edit my videos. And it's actually a print from one of the um, tarot cards from the Moonchild Tarot deck, and it's called Shadow Work. So it's always my reminder to keep looking in my dark corners, the parts of myself that I may not want to look at and see, and I may have disassociated from because so much of our power of transformation is found in overcoming those of working in them and healing them and exposing our shadow side. So if you would like your very own print of this, and I'm not sponsored, although I wish I was, Danielle, if you're listening, feel free to sponsor me um, or be an affiliate, make me an affiliate. Um, all you need to do is put a comment below, giveaway. Now, what I'd like you to do is to think about how this year you can begin working on your shadow aspects. And you don't need to share that below because obviously it's going to be personal, guys. Just put the word giveaway below and I will select somebody to be the winner and I'm going to post this anywhere in the world. So if you'd like one in your office, in your bedroom or your personal space where you, you know, do your own readings, um, your own rituals, then just comment below. So guys, um, that's all I had to say. Just wanted to call in, wishing you a wonderful week, and we'll head to your reading now. Hi there Aquarius, this is going to be your weekly intuitive reading for January 18th to the 24th. Let's see what's on the cards for you Aquarius. I'm getting started here with a work your light oracle, as per usual, and then drawing you a key tarot card. From the Moonchild Tarot, we'll then get out the tarot positions with the Right Awake clarifying today with the Star Child Tarot. Okay, let's give that another go. One just dropped on the ground, but I was not concentrating yet. So let's get your energy out. I have got protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. So some of you may need to protect your energy. From somebody hold your boundaries respect your yes and no only commit to what you need what you really feel that you can follow through with um, Aquarius you know calling back your power or cutting the cords there could have been situations from the past that even subconsciously without realizing it you, you're still holding some kind of energetic connection to for example we can block love by still having connections to past partners um, past you know jobs and things like that where we still feel that we are we are owing something to to the boss the manager the company to other people sometimes we need to cut the cord and call back our power and you can find um, cord cutting meditations on YouTube if, if you feel like that relates to you okay Aquarius let's go to the moon child tarot Well, I'm going to take that Five of Cups. That was the top one of the ones that fell. And that feels quite fitting because the Five of Cups can be the energy of grieving for the past, right? Still holding the emotional charge of a past situation, which is keeping your energy attached to it and having you miss opportunities in the present. And that's why they say, you know, the past is the thief of the present. And, and the lady in the car, she has this black cloak because... You know, sometimes it holds us in the negativity, the anxiety, the depression, and we're just not really living because we're not, we're living in the shadows. We're living as, a, as a, the skeletons of the past. It's really time for you to release whatever that is, that sadness, and really come into the present moment because there is actually opportunities trying to come in for you. With Five of Cups says that, you know, they're right behind you, but you can't see them because you're attached to the energy of the past. So let's go to the tarot and, and see how this might be playing out. Beginning here, Aquarius, with the recent past. 
energies leaving completing or transitioning well here's your breakthrough and your clarity i'm very very pleased to see the ace of swords coming in for you let's get the current or focus energy please for aquarius current or focus energy current or focus energy Three of Wands, yeah, it is time to turn away from the past and focus on the future from this present moment. Outcome, lovers coming back into balance. What we're going to need to do is go through the final release. Release the weight on your shoulders, the burden, the stress. Whatever that, you know, whatever that sorrow, that grief was, it's time to let that go because it's actually blocking your vision. <laughs> I've got the Ace of Cups here as well. There's so much energy trying to come in for you. Well, okay, let's clarify the Three of Wands. With the Eight of Cups, time to move away from that energy. Clarifying the Lovers. With the lovers, oh my goodness, I've only seen this once ever, guys. I just found that the lovers isn't a common major arcana that comes out, especially not in a double up like that. That's very powerful. Oh, we've got another one that's come out as well. It is the Five of Pentacles. I was wanting another one for these two, so I'm going to include that as that energy. And I've got the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's making so much sense, guys. Okay, let's jump in. Well, I'm going to start here with the Nine of Swords. I feel this is the energy that has been uh, upon you, Aquarius. I mean, the Nine of Swords is the, is the stress, the tension. It's the mind energy, right? So it's by being in the mind, the past, the hurt, the shame, the sorrow, whatever it is in this Five of Cups energy, it, it, it keeps us stuck. And we can't be in the present moment. We can't be in our intuition when we're overwhelmed by the mind. It can be anxiety, it can be depression, it can be stress. It's all those thoughts that flood in, you know, when we jump into bed and we have that little moment of relaxation, that they come for us. We absolutely want to end the stress. That's what we're going to do and move into the realm of new possibility again. So let's go to, well, we're going to go to all this combination. Why I was kind of having a bit of a, a giggle when these two aces came out because in the traditional... Um, five of cups uh, card we see the person who's standing there looking at three spilt cups but behind them is two beautiful opportunities two cups upright waiting for them and then you have these two aces right the two opportunities so there is two opportunities or just a massive energy of breakthrough that's waiting to come in for you but first of all we need to we need to, to move away from that past charge. Otherwise, we're going to end up in the Five of Pentacles energy, which is the energy of victim mentality, feeling the loss. Some of you may have lost financially, lost a sense of home and security, or self-worth even. But for some of you, it's that feeling of just being, I'm just alone in the world, you know. You might have had a partner leave you. Um, some of you are in relationships and still feeling alone. It's that real feeling of there's no one coming to save me and I'm just feeling hard done by, so therefore we can kind of go in that downward spiral of the victim mentality. And, you know, it could have been that somebody did something to you or you, you experienced a situation and you've just kind of stayed in that charge of the Five of Pentacles energy the whole time. What we need to keep in mind is that, you know, even in those dark times, you know, the divine is always with us. It's time to see the big picture here, right? And if that person in the Five of Cups, you, Aquarius, was to take a step back, you would see the two upright cups. And that is your breakthrough. The Ace of Swords is a moment of clarity. This is the clarity that you need. See the big picture. This is just a, a, a hurdle, a, a little blip. You know, we all go through that. But it's time to call back your power now. That's your victory, Ace of Swords, right? And there's the potential that new opportunities of fulfillment, of joy, of love, of satisfaction, and harmony are going to come in for you. Well, they're right behind you. We just need to, to cut that energetic cord first. So the Ace of Cups is also the energy of, of transformation. This is going to transform your life because you're going to be putting out a whole new energy. And we know that when we put out a new energy, we receive a, a different vibrational match back. I'm also noticing that the Nine of Swords plus the breakthrough of the Ace of Swords equals Ten of Swords. We also have the Ten of Wands here 
completion, finito, over the new dawn, the new day can can rise now that you've put that to put that to rest. I think it's definitely a painful situation that was experienced, and it could have been a betrayal for many of you. And it takes years for some people to recover from betrayal. We can't change the past, guys. All we can do is make a different declaration for our future and make better decisions in the now in order to shape that as we as we desire. So you know what to do. You know what to do. Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands. So the Eight of Cups are saying, well, you know what? I feel like the Eight of Cups is where you've been. Like you're not in the bad situation anymore, but you've created a sense of not having all the fulfillment you desire by keeping a connection to it. In the Eight of Cups, we realize that we don't really have all the pieces that we're looking for. There's a missing piece. Our wishes aren't being fulfilled. So we make a decision to turn our back on where we're at or on the past in order to claim that missing cup, the ninth cup, the cup of wish fulfillment, right? And I love seeing three of wands here because this is somebody who's not just thinking about moving on. It's somebody that's actually done it. They've at least um, taken themselves out of the past charge. And from the present moment, they're beginning to think about new successes, new future, and take the inspired action that will have those ships come in, right? New ships coming in. Number three, creating the new, the new beginning, and then starting to move towards it. So you've taken the leap. You've, you've, you're being asked to turn your back on the past and move forward. So I love this energy. It's the perfect combination to follow on from before and, you know, move towards that ninth cup, which is what you've really wished for starting to materialize rather than staying in the past. Now, double lovers and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I mean, double number six is moving into greater joy, love, harmony, and happiness. Everything that the Ace of Cups promises. Double Gemini. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Could have been a Gemini from the past, and it's saying it's time to let that go. The lovers before it was just a big card of, of soulmates and twin flames is a big energy of choice around matters of the heart. So some of you are going to have to make some big decisions here. Some of you might be physically having to move away from a place, a home, a location, feeling that with their Ace of Cups, Three of Wands energy. But it's really a good decision because you are releasing a weight or a load. And you can see here that the person that carries Ten Wands, the stress of the past, their vision's clouded, right? They can't see other ways to go. They can't see those two cups that were right behind them. So the idea is that we need to complete, to clear, to release, make those big choices before the new opportunities will really present. You know, and you know, two cups, two lovers cards are saying that there could be two areas of your life that are impacted here. It could be work and love. I'm not too sure. You'll know in, in hindsight how this is going to play out. But this is the beautiful promise of a greater sense of balance and harmony and all of those higher um, emotional states that are on offer for you, but they most definitely don't exist when we're staying in the energy of the past. Time to let go, time to surrender, claim that victory and move on, and that's when things all begin to shift for you, Aquarius. So I think the message is quite simple here. Time to make those big decisions and, um, and move towards that transformation of the Ace of Cups. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. It's a shorter reading, but I feel like it's really shaken out very clearly here for you. Um, do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective, which means you know sometimes it resonates in full, sometimes part, and sometimes just not at all, and that's okay. Feel free to drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I do read them all, guys, and I do my best to respond. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy, and see what's happening out there in the collective. Aquarius, it has been a pleasure. I will be seeing you back here next week for another one. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>